dear children today let us discuss eighth history lesson 6th rise of jainism and buddhism unit 2 buddhism the founder of buddhism is gautama buddha buddha's original name was siddhartha he was born in the 6th century bc his father shuddhodana was the king of the republic of shakya let us know his early life though he was from king's family but gave up all his luxury and family happiness and he became a hermit or a sanyasi these pictures tell us how he got enlightenment for the knowledge of truth while traveling he saw three types of people one a sickly person two a dead body was carried and three an aged poor beggar these sufferings made him to think and search for truth once he attained enlightenment he gave up his family life and siddhartha became buddha let us understand is the first sermon or a preaching after he had become a enlightened one he first went to sarnath near banaras there in the deep deep park he gave his first sermon this has been called dharma chakra pravartana here he preached the four noble truths and the eighth fold path the four noble paths are four noble truths are one is the whole world is full of sorrow and suffering to desire or a longing for things was the main root cause of sorrow three only by the liberation or the free from excessive desires could a peaceful life be led and fourth buddha preached the eight fold path for eliminating these kind of desires the eight fold paths are one right action two right speech three right vision four right li- livelihood for right effort fifth right effort sixth right recollection seventh right resolve and the last eighth one right thought let us know how this religion spread in the society wealthy merchants artisans and also common people were inspired by his preachings and he spoke in prakrit language the local people were able to understand the lifestyle of the people of the cities changed this new religion gave hope to people especially this new religion brought transformation or changes in the lives of people later between 500 bc to 600 ad buddhist not only spread buddhism not only spread in india but also spread in other parts of the world it spread to afghanistan tibet china burma ceylon or sri lanka japan etc In India Buddha and his followers visited Kosala Magadha and many cities on the Gangetic plains and spread his messages Buddha's followers walked from one city to another and dedicated their lives for others Buddha's last journey in his 80th 80th year His great services to society came to an end and 
died at Kushinagar. This has been called Mahapari Nirvana. Next is architecture of Buddhism. Viharas or rest houses were constructed in all the areas in which Buddha moved around. People have preserved or kept safe of his bones and his relics or belongings in Chaitalayas and also stupas. People do worship him. This was how the first temples, idols and idol worship began. These are the some of the monuments or the constructing works of Buddhism. After the death of Buddha, his followers collected his teachings and tradition in the form of three pitakas. They are 1. Vinaya pitakas, 2. Sutta or Dhamma pitakas and third one is Abhidhamma pitakas. Buddhism has many branches all over the world. There are three main branches. 1. Hinayana, 2. Mahayana, 3. Vajrayana. During this period, another important event had taken place. That was a foreign invasions. One side Greece was a powerful empire. On the other side, ancient Persia had grown into a powerful empire. Both had fought several times. The Achaemenians were one group who ruled Persia. In 6th century BC, King Darius of this dynasty established a strong empire. His kingdom extended up to the Indian border during his time. Here is a Macedonian king Alexander. In 4th century BC, he was he won and captured a Greek city and also Persia. Persian kingdom which had spread till the border of India came under the control of Alexander. Later he entered India through the passes in Kandahar and Hindu Kush. Though, though he had advanced till Ravi and the Bees rivers and was unable to proceed further, he crossed the Indian border through river Jhelum and on his way back home he died at Babylonia. With this, this chapter come to an end. Thank you children. Have a good day.